Hello everyone, my name is Mairead Nguini and I was supposed to have been with you at the Swananoa Song Week this year for my very first time. Thank you Julie for inviting me but unfortunately because of the time that's in it I can't make it but I've heard so much about it and I was really looking forward to the week because Julie told me about it and the High Sproul and Cathy Jordan from Dervish so it would have been such a nice event for me to go to uh, but hopefully next year I'm going to sing you a song well I suppose my songs came from my people and my first language is the Gaelic language which is uh, the, the, the first language of Ireland really but not many people are speaking it anymore but uh, one of the first songs I ever learnt as a baby was Dulum on the Binyabui and it's one of the most requested songs that we get uh, when I tour with Altan. So I might sing that one for you first of all and talk a bit then. So I'll sing you Dulum on the Binyabui and that means uh, Dulum on is a type of seaweed. It's a flat seaweed and people use it uh, for to fertilize land but in this song it's really a metaphor for not to marry into a higher uh, status so if you see a cat or a dog don't worry there's a cat and a dog in this house so but Dulaman the Binyabui and the band Binyabui is the yellow cliff so Dulaman of the yellow cliff so Nin vino shin an al na fer huri waher vino karn na ra lang gudima du la man na binya bui du la man gela o du la man na farige she ber vi inirin da proga praka dua her du la man gela da parada gesrush er du la man gela Du la man na binya bui, du la man gela, o du la man na farige, she bere vi in yerin. O rai meir gata yelish, du la man gela, skanna meid praoge dire, ere du la man gela, o du la man na binya bui, Du la man gela, o du la man na farige, she ber vi in yerin. O ha win tu monin, ersen du la man gela, wil fua dae malon, here's a du la man muera. Du la man na binye vi, du la man gela, O du la man na farige, she ber vi in yerin. So that's Dulaman the Binyabui and it's a children's song. I suppose it was sung for people to dance with as well. And it has a Scottish sort of a lilt to it. And we do a lot of highlands around the Donegal area. Uh, we dance the highland, which is a couple dance. And uh, so we have that very strong connection with Scotland. Uh, and I, I also sing in the English language, although when I initially started to sing as a child, it was all Gaelic songs because my first language, of course, being Gaelic. But then gradually, as I expanded out uh, and went to college, I started to sing English ballads as well. And a lot of the older singers around here who, who would have been Gaelic speakers also had a store of English songs. So I'd like to sing you one of my favourite songs and it's called I Wish My Love Was a Red Red Rose. And this particular version came from the singing of Sarah Makem. And Sarah Makem was Tommy Makem's mother and she was from Cady in South Armagh. A fantastic singer if you ever get a chance to hear her. So I'll just try this. I wish my love was a red, red rose growing in young garden fair and I to be the gardener of her I would take care there's not a moan through garnish 
fly. I'd light on my love's breast. And if I was a nightingale, I'd sing. Sit and sing with you, Molly. For once I loved you, dear. I wish I was in Dublin town and seated on the grass. In Thank you. Well, that was the cat trying to adjust my uh, camera there. So I'm trying to hold, hold Sheog. I'll just show you who she is. This is Sheog, our wee cat. See the lovely green eyes. She's as mad as a hatter. Anyway, I hope anyway to make it next year. And thank you, the McGill family and Julie Glabweens and her family. And thank you so much for listening to me.